If you want to save your plugin data persistently, then one way to do it is with custom configuration files. In plugins, they usually are .yml files, like the plugin.yml, and you create them in the resources directory here. So right click, new file, and the default name for configs is config.yml. And in here you can write out your default configuration that you want the user to edit. So for example, let's say we want to display a custom welcome message to every player that joins the server and we want to make it configurable on the config. This is the place where we write it. Let's say greeting message colon and the default will just be welcome to the server. And let's use mini messages for this. So green. And now when you export the plugin, Let's see what happens. And now as you can see in the plugins folder, we have our plugin installed, the server is started and the plugin is enabled, but there is no plugin directory. And this is because we didn't tell the server to save our config file to the directory. How we need to do it is inside the onload method. So if you don't know what on enable, onload and on disable are, you can watch the second episode of this series. I explain everything about these three methods in detail there. So inside the onload method type save default config. And now if we go into this method with control left click, we can see that all this method does is it checks if the config file, so if this here exists, and if it exists, it uses the save resource method to save the file called config.yml. And if it already exists inside the plugin directory, it should not be overwritten. So let's export the plugin again. And as we can see in the plugins folder, we now have a directory called episode 08. The directories will be named after the plugin name inside the plugin.yml. So if we now go inside this directory, we can see that there is our config.yml file. Open it and you can see the message that we have written there. And now if we want to access the content of the config.yml file, we can use the get config method of Java plugin. And then depending on what kind of type we want to get from the config, so either a string, boolean, numbers or object, in this case we want to get a string, we can use different methods for that. For example, get gives you an object, get boolean, boolean, get string list gives you a list. And for this case, string will be what we need. And the get string method affects one parameter, which is the path to the element that we want to get from the config. In this case, it's greeting message. So let's copy that and input it here. Now let's save that into a variable, final string greeting message. And this is how you can access data from the config.yml. So this is obviously the wrong place for the greeting message. Let's cut and register a listener. Get server, get plugin manager, register events, this and this, implement listener from org.bucket, and then create our join listener on join, player join event, paste. And now we simply get the player with event.get player and send a message. And the message will be greeting message. Export again. And now, as you can see, when we join the server, we get our welcome message, but we actually need to fix the mini message format right here. In PaperMC, you can use mini messaging with mini message dot mini message dot deserialize. And then inside the deserialize method, you type in your string that contains mini messaging. So in this case, greeting message. And just if you don't know, mini message is this way to colorize a string. And now, as you can see, mini messages are working. And now let's go over what is happening here in detail. First, we define our default config.yml. In this case, it only contains one message. In the onload method, we call save default config. And this simply copies the contents of this file over to our plugin directory. And then we register our listener, of course. We learned all this in episode number five. And in the player join event, we get the greeting message from the config with get config and get string. And as the last thing, we send the message to the player. But since we have used mini messaging, we first need to deserialize it. In the next episode, we're going to look at how we can save messages and complex objects into the config.yml file.